She doesn't look the same. How can she be when she's being taken apart piece by piece? We just came today as it happened. We could have come another day and then we would have found she'd gone, which would have been a big disappointment to us because we think it's part of your history and it's a fantastic machine. It's a pity it's going. Yesterday was supposed to be the last public viewing for the Spruce Goose. Her tail section was to be removed this morning, but the necessary equipment needed had a mechanical malfunction. The tail section stays for now and the public was invited to observe her again from afar and some people felt lucky about that. It never seemed exciting until it's about to leave and then you know you're gonna miss out on something so you think you better get down there and see it. I'm surprised that the, uh, the local people say they haven't seen it, I can't believe it. It's so near to them and such a piece of history that it's unbelievable. By the end of this month, the Spruce Goose will be totally dismantled, be placed on barges and in trucks and shipped to her new home in McMinnville, Oregon. Parts of the dome roof will simply be removed. The Spruce Goose will be wheeled out and as she goes, so goes a major part of Long Beach history. 70 feet off the water, she stays for a mile. feet off the water she stays for a mile but the aircraft is an artifact now rather than a, a flying aircraft there's questions about the glues has been 45 years since the last flew uh, the engines we'd have to go through them completely
sweat of my life into this thing. I have my reputation rolled up in it, and I have...